Jewish world has changed to a great deal, also at least the firm world. But nevertheless, these young people are seekers. They're of action. When a boy applies to Chief Rockway today, he knows that he's going to a place where he's going to grow in his learning. There's a clear path for him to go and to climb, and he's excited to be part of that. Today's Talmudim here in the Yeshiva are really people who are Mavak Torah. I'm here on a day-to-day -day basis, I see the boys. The Bachram love to come and learn, they love to come to Yeshiva, and they're growing and steiging. The hallmark of the Yeshiva is individuality. Every Bachar is his own world. The Rosh Yeshiva and the Yeshiva finds a way to be able to bring out every Bachar for who they are. When you look at our Abayim, so many of them being Talmudim of the Yeshiva, each one so different, but with the same vision and the same goals. It's beautiful for the boys to see that they have people who are bonafide to me, the Chacham, and people who are Gedol Yisrael. And at the same time, the boys have the opportunity to connect with someone who's more in their generation. There's a tremendous amount of positive energy. The base Medrash is alive. There's an air of excitement, there's an energy, and people love to be here. The boys that are coming now are getting a Masayur and getting a Chinuch that was applicable 50 years ago and 100 years ago, and we're still able to give that over today. Amalka pulsating with life, with real Torah, Yerushalayim, Midas Tevis. Baruch Hashem, the Yeshiva is going Mechayel Al-Chayel. 50 years, how much appreciation we have for the Rosh Yeshiva, how much time and effort He's put into the yeshiva and to the Bacharin. The Rosh Yeshiva should be shown this year that we're indebted to him, and the Hakaras HaTov that we all have is something that we can never pay him back for.